everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com here with another video tutorial in my series called Flashcards. Today's card is, we're kind of going beyond flashcards today, you guys. We are going super flashcards. Today I want to teach you a technique on how to take the flashcard idea and create eight cards, boom, all at once. I was able to create all of these cards in about an hour. So what a great way, if you need that gift in a hurry, you could sit down with the super flashcard technique, create the cards, put them in a cello bag, and hey, you're ready, go to the party. Let me show you how to do today's technique. It's very simple. I'm going to begin with one of my favorite stamp sets, Secret Garden. Of course, pick your favorite. This is one of those techniques. Find your favorite stamp set, find your favorite ink pad colors, and you are ready to go. But Secret Garden has been one of my favorites lately. So I'm going to begin with a, a sheet of white cardstock or vanilla, either way. I have cut this down to 8 inches by 10 and 3 quarters inches. So make sure you start with a pre-cut piece of cardstock. And um, I've chosen three ink pad colors. You choose your favorites. I've chosen three ink pad colors and then four colors of a cardstock. Well, let's go ahead and get to the stamping. Let me bring in some grid paper here. You can see I've already started some of it for you. You always want to start this technique with your biggest, boldest, baddest stamp that you've got. So I'm going to be using the, um, the big leafy stamp from uh, Secret Garden. And you can see I'm just randomly stamping all over my cardstock. And I just want to make sure that I've got, um, I I'm going to be filling in a lot. So I want to make sure I'm not going to have a ton of white space left. So once we get that done, we can then come in with um, our next stamp. And again, you can see I went ahead and pre-did some of this for you. I came in now with uh, Rich Razzleberry and then one of the uh, solid flowers from this one. And what I want to do here is just, again, we're filling in white space. So I'm just going to kind of find some little bold spots. Um, you're going to notice I am going to overlap, and that is perfectly fine. From there, we're now going to come in with um, one of the outline stamps. Again, this might not always be the case with your stamp set, but um, it just kind of worked with this secret garden one. But you see how the outline stamp just kind of overlaps and fills in that white space? That is what we're going for. Um, I like to tell people when it's all said and done, we want it to look like a bad Hawaiian shirt. And I don't know about you, but I think this is looking like it. Okay, so you're going to do that all over your cardstock. And when you're done, it's going to look like this. Very busy, I know, but don't worry about it. It's really what we're going for. So let me move this, and I'm going to show you how to do the cutting. We're going to come in with our trimmer. And the first thing I'm going to have you do is to trim this sheet of cardstock down. As I said, it's 8 by 10 and 3 quarters. I want to cut it down 4 by 10 and 3 quarters. So I'm just cutting it in half. So I have two equal pieces. I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to cut each of them down to 2 and a half. Super easy. 2 and a half on all of these. And when you're done with this piece here, you are going to have a little scrap left over. And don't worry, you didn't cut wrong. <laughs> so we can set that aside. I've now got my four pieces cut. Set those aside. Now I'm going to take my other four inch by ten and three quarter. And we're going to cut it down to five and three eighths inch. So that is in half. It is in half. There we go. Now we're going to cut these down to two inches. So they are going to be cut two by five and three eighths. And if you've been following the flashcard um, technique and the flashcard series, you know what I've done is I've basically created flashcard original and flashcard 2.0. That's all I did. So easy. So now that we have all those pieces done, here comes the cool part. If you've purchased one of the flashcard to-go kits, well, you are like most of the battles done. There's all my pieces already cut. I can pull from that in the flashcard 2.0 and original. I can pull out eight pieces of cardstock um, as my base pieces. Again, I'll just pick some pieces that match. I've got my envelopes. Everything that I need is right there in the to-go kit. So I've got my pieces all picked out here. And so now, as you've seen me do in many other videos, you can just take these pieces and start layering. 
But if you, again, if you know how I like to do things, I'll do some special punching. Um, punched out some flowers from the back. I did a scallop border. So here's where you get a chance to really be creative. Just start pulling out those cards, creating, doing everything that we like to do with those flashcards, and boom, just some simple sentiments, and you have got eight cards in a super flash. What do you think? I thought it was a really great way to be able to make those cards in a hurry. I hope you did too. Now listen, everything you've seen me use today can be found at www.simplysimplestamping.com. Very easy to find, very easy to order. You can order any of the stamps and inks that I use today, or you can order the flash card to go kit as well. And just think, that's going to be delivered to your door in a flash, and you're going to be creating in no time. Thanks so much for tuning in to uh, my video today, and I hope you enjoyed this new little take on flashcards. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.